What it do, you two, man? It's your boy Q back with another jiggy video. You see the title, you see the thumbnail. Let's get into it, man. Loki, a sad little video, man. Loki, a sad video, man. Um, let's go ahead and get straight into it, man. I wrecked the R1. Yes, I wrecked the R1. Running from the cops. Dang, man. It's not that bad, though. It's just, it's a lesson learned. Um, it's kind of funny. I literally just got back in um, yesterday from Houston. I went down to Houston, Texas. Went down there for a whole week, man. Had fun and everything. And it was a blast, man. I just got back in yesterday at like two o'clock. And yeah, man. So what happened was I'm chilling. I don't have um, I don't have my plate on my bike because I don't have my plate on my bike. Ooh. Whee. Check out this new gun. Oh my gosh. Sheesh. This is the FNX 45 Tactical. Oh my gosh, such a beauty. Iron sights glow in the dark at night so you can see your target. Amidextrous. Anyways, let's, uh, let's get back on topic with all this ADHD. Anyway, so I'm cruising. I'm cruising, man, without my my license plate because my bracket is messed up on the um on the what you call it on the bike. So I'm not speeding. I'm not doing anything crazy. I'm just chilling, man. I'm going home. I went to go buy a chest uh chest mount from um what's it called Best Buy chest mount for the GoPro. So like when I ride rides and stuff and I do all this type of stuff. Even if I'm on the bike, you know what I mean? I don't have to touch it. It, it. it won't move anything. So even if I'm driving, like, if I'm sitting up, chest, it'll be on my chest. You know, just stuff like that. So I'm cruising. I cruise right past the, the cop. I'm doing, like, five under this speed limit. I'm chilling. Next thing I know, I get way down the interstate. Next thing I know, there's a cop next to me with his, his lights on. I'm like, oh, he scared the mess out of me, yeah. And so here in Virginia, man, the state troopers are assholes, like, most of them. There's only a few, a few amount of cops around here that's actually pretty cool, man. Honestly, like, just being honest, not trying to be biased or anything, just telling the, the God-given truth, the God-honest truth. So I do pull over. I pull over. I'm like, maybe he just pulled me for my, um, for my tags. Anyways, okay, that's just a ticket. But then I start thinking, man, I was like, man, if he an asshole cop, Man, if, if he's an asshole cop, man, he's going to impound my bike. Here in Virginia, it's a commonwealth. So if you're seeing this from another state, you st sorry, hold on. If you're seeing this video from another state, and you like, what? That don't make sense. In Virginia, man, it's a commonwealth. So they can they make the rules. They make their own rules up, and they do what they want to do. So I've had homies that had, like, you know, extra tent on their um, scat packs and Dodge chargers and stuff. And the cop pulled them over and tried to impound the car just because they had extra dark tint on it. That's the type of cops and um, state troopers we have in the state. Like, they would impound your shit. So, like I said, I did stop because I, was, I wasn't doing nothing wrong. But then I started thinking. I was like, damn, man, if he tried to impound my bike, well, I'm going to have to either, like, walk home or I'm going to have to call an Uber. And then it's going to have to be impounded for 30 days. Bro, that's going to be a lot of money. So... I low key panic, man. I took off, and that would go into like why I haven't been posting. I mean, I haven't been posting the videos for like a month or two. So I get down by the exit by the interstate after I take off. I slow down. I hit the. I'm downshifting as well. I'm downshifting and I hit the back brakes just a tad bit just to slow down. The back tires start fishtailing. I'm like, bro, why is my bike fishtailing, bro? I'm not even hitting the brakes, mind you. I've had this bike. For anybody to be like, oh man, it sounds like you panic and hit the brakes too fast. Like, no, like I've had, I've been riding my bikes for six months now. So I've learned the bike. I've learned how to lean the bike. I learned how to slow down. I learned all this stuff. I already know if you hit the back brakes too hard, it's gonna fishtail automatically. So I, I down, I'm down shifting my engine braking. Boom, the bike still fishtail. I'm like, bro, what the hell going on? So by the time I get to a speed that I'm comfortable with, and where I want to lean the corner, I'm already at the the damn curb. Boom, I hit the curb, man. I go airborne. I go airborne. 
And then boom, I land, man, I went so far, I went over the median. I landed it though, perfectly, boom. But I landed too hard and I bent the wheels of the bike. So the bike threw me to the right and um, threw me to the right. And then boom, I hit my shoulder and me and the bike on the sidewalk, bye. So the cop, he finally catch up to me. Um, he said he wasn't chasing anything. And so, and yeah, so I'm sitting there on the sidewalk. He's like, why you run? I was like, man, I thought you was gonna impound my bike. The bike wreck. I'm thinking the bike. The bike is totaled. Thank God it's not. And um, yeah, man, I end up getting rushed to the hospital. I have a whole um, minor damage to like like scars and stuff. But actually, I have a broken shoulder. Come to find out, I have a broken damn uh, scapula. I haven't drove the car in a week. Anyways, man. So yeah. Got rushed to the hospital, uh, like scars and stuff, you know, like road rash, that was minimal on me. Uh, my helmet has one scratch on it, but I had ended up having uh, a broken scapula. Like once I was on the sidewalk and shit, the pain got worse and worse and worse. I couldn't lift up my arm no more. Shoulder got swollen. So it was like a fracture from like the middle of my shoulder blade all the way to my, uh, my the socket of my shoulder. So, uh, yeah, man. So that's the reason why I haven't been posting. Right now, we had to my brother's house. I'm gonna uh, show you guys the bike, show you the damage. I might put this clip in when I first got it. I got lucky, man, the damage isn't that bad. And I have uh, most of the parts, too. The only thing left I have to buy is just the fairness, just to fix it, so it can be droppable again. I have everything else. And so, yeah, man, so that's why I haven't been posting. Um, <laughs> one, I, I could barely move my arm. Now, it took like three days. Everybody kept telling me, they was like, yeah, you have a high pain tolerance. And on top of that, um, maybe because you're so muscular, you're so built. A lot of people don't know that I work out a lot. And I'm, um, I'm built, I'm diesel. So they was like, yeah, man, maybe because like the muscles, they took most of the impact and all that, the force, and you just got that uh, fracture. I was in a lot of pain, don't get me wrong, but it could have been a lot worse. So um, that was the reason why I wasn't posting me. I couldn't move my arm. I was healing. And on top of that, I had to go through all the court stuff and everything. The cop did end up, end up being like a cool dude. He just gave me a looting and failure to dis display tags. Um, so uh, I beat all that. The only thing I got was a um, improper driving, which is just an infraction. So pay a little fine leave out the courthouse you're good to go i should have vlogged the houston trip man like i said i just got back yesterday two o'clock from houston spent the whole week there houston all right man i bang with houston man it's a little too expensive it's like it's like they're trying to charge you for extra stuff but it was cool man it was nice to get away see something different see something new experience some new stuff and i really enjoyed it man but i ended up vlogging it i was like nah man i'm gonna just sit back and relax so uh, we're gonna pick this back up when I get to my brother's house and I'll show you guys the bike. Yo, your money? Chillin', man. Hell yeah. You know you ask me this every time I wear this shit. For real. Bro, you asking that every time I wear this shit. You like, bro, you still got that shirt? Bro, you been, <laughs> bro, you been asking me that for years, bro. bro. Every time you see it, you be like, bro, you still got that shirt, that base on that shirt. Bro, I wish I had my shit. What happened to it? I don't know. <laughs> it's gonna stay loose or something. But here's the damage, man. Um, it's actually not that bad. I actually got away. I actually got lucky, yeah. Uh, like I got real lucky with that. So, literally, only the left side has damage. The right side is perfectly fine. The bike still starts up, and it um, runs perfectly fine. But as you can see right here, boom. Like I said, when I went over the median and stuff, I landed the bike perfectly. But I guess I landed so hard. Or maybe that even happened when I hit the curve. I hit the curve and landed. It bent both wheels. But, um, but yeah. So, I mean, you can't really complain from dropping a bike. I mean, it could have been better, but also could have been worse. So here's all the damage. Both wheels got bent. Only the left side of the fairing uh, got bent. Um, the forks are still good. That light is broke. Um, the front stay. The master brake cylinder broke. I'm gonna, I'm gonna need some new throttle grips, but that's nothing, that's like $20. And the right fan doesn't spin freely, it doesn't, it's stuck. But the left side fan is perfectly fine. 
And I thought that was all the damage at first. But then, boom, bada, bam, the radiator right here at the bottom, it leaks very slowly. At first, it wasn't leaking, then it started leaking. But, um, yeah, man. So, like I said, I have most of the parts already. I have both wheels. And the new, man, the new look, bruh, the new look is about to be insane. I'm, I'm changing up the whole entire color of the bike. Um, hopefully, I can do something about this. If not, then maybe I can, like, you know, sand it down and then repaint that little spot. If not, it's okay. We'll ever just get a new tank cover. It's not that big of a deal. They cost like 50, 60 bucks. Um, let me see what else I got. I have the front stay. I have the headlights. I have the wheels. I have the new radiator. I have the new fan. Uh, I'm pretty sure the only thing I have to do left is order. I have to order the fairings. The fairings and... Uh, trying to think what else do i have to oh yeah okay so i have to order the new master cylinder i don't have that the front forks are good the brakes and stuff are good um i can reuse these tires these tires are in fairly good shape and i was looking at the tires like bro it's in good shape it has tread that's why i was like i don't know why i kept fish chilling but it was even even before i crashed the bike it was doing that too it, 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 i hit the back brakes it'll fish tail a lot um I just did an oil change on the bike. I just did the brand new uh, Canon or um, air filter. So, oh, dang, I'm gonna need this. I ain't think about that. Now that comes with a new fairing kit. That comes with a new fairing kit, I think. Yeah, so that's gonna take care of that. So yeah, man, I think all that's left is, I'm gonna get a new clutch too. Come on, I have clutch chatter. If anybody can help me out with that, what that means, like I have clutch chatter. And it's worse now since I, I dropped the bike, I crashed it, it's worse. So, yeah, but I plan on getting a new clutch anyways. So I'm pretty sure that's it, man. New fairings, new clutch, and new master cylinder, and new, uh, what you call it, new throttle grip on the right side, this one. And uh, that's it, man. And then the bike, we're going to do everything ourselves. I'm going to have to take the bike to the shop just to do the wheels because I don't have the equipment unless one of the homies can do that. And that's it, man. So maybe by the end of the... Maybe at the end of this month, I'll buy the rest of the parts. And maybe at the end of the next month, I'll buy the rest of the parts. I don't know yet. I have some boss moves that I'm trying to um, actually trying to accomplish right now. Last video with the Sumo Speed Meet, I told you guys that I started my own business. I couldn't upload the picture into that damn video because I was I was trying to edit everything on the MacBook, trying to learn how to. Because usually I, I edit all my videos on my phone, my iPhone. But since I have a brand new MacBook, I'm trying to learn how to edit up there and it was so difficult man and it was a oh my gosh i had the worst time in the world trying to do that shit so i'm gonna just edit this video back on my phone and i'm gonna show you guys my llc how i started my um you know from my shop and everything going on open up a performance shop for cars it's gonna be um based for like nissan and dodge since those are the main cars i work on and those are cars i actually have and i know how to work on them so might as well but if you know if you want to bring your your little Mustang and Corvette in and get like some exhaust pull on it, coat it, intake, bolt-ons, you know what I mean? We can just still do stuff like that too. That's easy to do on cars. And so I'm going to put that down and I'm going to put that, insert that picture right here now. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, man. That's, that's the reason why your boy wasn't uploading or doing anything. I had to heal my shoulder. I had to get back right. And so... Yeah, man. Other than that, keep making boss moves. I got some real estate stuff I'm trying to get into right now. Some investment property stuff. And that's it, man. So I appreciate you guys. I'll catch y'all on the next one. And yeah, that'll be it. Stay blessed. Stay safe.